What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And today's video, another electronics video for you. Winter time fishing. I'm gonna show you some things that I do to help find fish when it's tough this winter time. Let's go. Winter time fishing can be an amazing time out on the water. Sure, you gotta layer up a little bit, but hopefully you guys have been following along some of our winter fishing videos. I know just last week, Matt and I went out here on Chickamauga and caught them pretty good. But today's video, electronics, and honestly, winter fishing is all about finding the bait. If you can find the bait, you're guaranteed to find predatory game fish, whether that be crappie or catfish or bass. Uh, if you can find the bait, you will have success. So today's video is gonna be some electronics tips, some things that I do, especially in the winter time, to help find those, those, those bait balls, those schools of fish. So uh, I'm gonna get going over here along the shoreline. I'll switch the camera up so you guys can see what I'm looking at. I'll point out a few things uh, that I do right off the bat to increase my visibility. And, uh, and we'll go from there and see what we see. So the first thing that I always do, no matter what time of the year, I always adjust my water level offset. Now with this Lake Master Chip, it makes it really nice because it highlights different, different uh, depths. I can set my red to be shallower than three feet, shallower than five feet. I can set my depth highlight area to, uh, right now I have it set between 12 and 15 feet. But the more important thing is, this is what I wanna show you guys, especially this time of the year. Out here we have uh, a thing called winter pool. Where it's where they draw down all of the bodies of water to make room for floods. So the first thing that I do when I launch the boat is I adjust my water level offset to match the depth of the current water level. The easiest way to do this, right now on the, the contour line, it shows that I'm sitting in, let me see. So before I turn it on, it shows that I'm sitting in between 14 and 15 feet. Well, I can look at the bank and I can tell that the water is down. So what I do, I look right here at my depth and I can see that it's eight feet. So I know that I need to adjust my water level down six to seven feet. So I come over here, I hit menu, and I click this right here, water level offset. I already have it set to negative six. And now you can see instantly, it changes my contour lines to the correct depth that is very very important and it will save you a lot of props and a lot of your lower units so that is number one the first thing I do when I get on the water here let me let me zoom out and I'll show you it again show you how much it changes what the lake looks like see that shows it all the way four feet all the way back here nine feet right here so if you're running you think you can you know make it safely, but then you turn on that water level offset, and you realize, oh geez, I need to come off pad right there. That way I don't destroy my prop and destroy my lower unit. So that is the number one thing that I do when I get on the water. No matter where I am, I always check what the contour line says that my depth is, and then I adjust my water level accordingly. And sometimes you could be flood stage, you could be higher, right? So you can adjust positive and negative, but right now, Winter pool, we are down six to seven feet. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump over. Uh, we'll jump over to side imaging. I really wanna show you guys some, uh, some cool things to do to help uh, show fish and uh, make it easier on your eyeballs um, this time of the year. You know, wintertime fishing for me, I spend a lot of time behind my electronics. You know, a lot of guys just like to get out and get fishing. But for me, I like to do a lot of research in the wintertime. I like to see the water level lower. I like to see what I will be fishing in the springtime because it all comes into play uh, pre-spawn and, uh, and springtime. So you can see over here that water level offset. 
really helps out. Now I know the uh, the safe areas and the hazard areas. Now it's not completely dummy proof, so be smart about it, but it gives you a lot more accuracy to your water depth. Now you can see right here on our 2D, this looks like grass to a lot of, uh, of anglers, but when you look at side imaging, let's move over to side imaging, you can see all these fish right here. Now these are all crappie, you got a school of bait over here, and I apologize for the reflection. The, you know, these units are so, so bright, but uh, hopefully it shows up on this camera. It's always a pain trying to get uh, dark enough to see the screen. Another bait ball over here. But uh, side imaging is a great tool this time of year. Um, it's a great time, it's a great tool <laughs> every time of the year, whatever season it is. But a couple questions that we get asked a ton of. Uh, one, what is this area behind the boat? And two, you know, how far away is that bait ball from where my boat is? And uh, two tips for you. The first tip, if you want to measure this, I just hit the check mark over here and hit ruler. Now I can click the back of my boat. That's what that is. That's the back of my boat. And now I can click that waypoint or that school of bait right there. It could be a rock pile, it could be a tree. And this tells me right here that it's 211.4 feet behind away from my boat. So you can't always uh, just guess the range from that item that you want to see or fish from the back of your boat because it totally depends on how fast you are idling, how fast the boat is moving. You know, this is all data that the transducer is taking in and reading out to the unit. So depending on your speed, it's gonna change how fast that stuff shows up. So the safest way is to use the ruler. Another great way, and it's the way that I use the most, I actually just add a waypoint. So if I find a tree out here, that's actually a school of crappie, got another school right here. If I find something that I want to waypoint, look at these guys on the, uh, you crappie fishermen, man, it's loaded. Right here, right here, down in imaging. You can see up here in side imaging. Uh, you know, side imaging, unless you have a degree in uh, geometry, physics, uh, it's hard to understand the positioning of these items on the screen relative to where your boat is, right? So just know that this black space between you know, the right and the left of the boat, that is actually this space right here. That is your depth. You know, this is all on the bottom. This is the depth. So right now we're sitting at 11.2 feet. So the width of this is gonna be 11 feet. So just know that this black area to the right of the transducer and to the left of the transducer is gonna be your depth. So again, it can get really confusing and I don't want to confuse you guys because uh, it is an, it's an extremely accurate tool. Just don't overthink it. So easiest way, waypoint. If you find a nice rock pile or you find a, a nice uh, lay down, something like that, but you want to know how far it is away from the boat, just waypoint it. That way, if you have two units, or even if you don't, you can load that waypoint into a different graph or you can be networked to the graph up front and it will put that waypoint up front and you can turn around with your trolling motor and fish that exact spot. If you can't do that and you have to guesstimate, use that ruler tool. The next tip that I wanna show you guys, you know, right here, I'm actually in a channel of a creek arm and I don't necessarily need to be scanning out here. I don't really need to really care what's out here on this mud flat <laughs> look at look at all this bait you know you guys seem to like these videos where I just idle around and kind of point out stuff you can see these bait balls see it on 2d sonar you can see down imaging side imaging what we got over here this is the remnants or that not the remnants that is a point looking out to the side uh, that's out here 75 feet out to the left you can see another bait ball right here but right now what I have is just a shoreline, right? I want to, I want to scan that wall, that sheer wall. It's deep water access. It's deeper along that edge of this channel. 
So one thing that I do, especially this time of the year, is I switch my side imaging just to show one side. Now it's gonna be a lot easier, go full screen on this. Look how much easier it is to see this stuff. So I just have a flat bottom over here. Let me get closer to the shoreline. Again, hopefully it's not too reflective for you guys. Get over here in the shade. It's the problem with uh, technology, these electronics these days, they're so clear. You can see yourself in your reflection, it's crazy. So coming up on this rock wall over here, I'm gonna reduce the distance that I'm scanning. Let's turn it down to like, let's say 70 feet or so. Let's do 75, make it a nice easy number. So I'm sitting in just, just under 14 foot. So 13 and a half feet. Oh big school right there there's so much bait back here and if I have to guys I'll flip around and I'll go the other direction and see if the reflection is not as bad you can see this old lay down here just a real small skinny lay down but you can see how just switching and using your whole unit to show the area that you want to scan gives you a lot better picture of what's going on than wasting half the screen out here. You're literally doubling your size of the area you're looking at. You see that tree, that lay down there. You see a rock here. You see some fish suspended out here. Again, we've covered it in previous videos, but you can see how the white shows up that's their air bladders those are fish suspended but getting back to it use the full screen to scan the area that you want to see so you guys can kind of see out out here what this shoreline looks like you can see some of these laydowns coming in and now you get to kind of see what it looks like on the side imaging. I'm getting a little close, you know, I'm scanning 75 foot, but I'm only 30 feet off the shore. I'll back out a little bit. Again, this time of year, it's all about finding those schools of bait. It doesn't matter if it's offshore or up next to shore. Uh, using your electronics, your side imaging to find those bait balls and finding those arches below those bait balls, that is key. So again, this a lot of times this time of the year, I am spending a ton of time behind the wheel, just looking at my electronics, just side imaging, trying to find those key areas. And you'll find a lot of times the bait will hang out in the same locations. You know, if it's it's back in a pocket, they'll be protected. The fish will be holding them back there. You know, it's not till you get out of those main bodies with the with the weather and the wind that really moves those fish around. Um, so if you can find key balls of bait this time of year, that is money. I'm gonna speed up a little bit because I'm not seeing too much over here on the wall. But get in the habit of switching between, you know, both left and right and then just selecting the area that you want to scan. Utilizing that screen, it'll help you guys so much. You don't have to squint, you don't have to zoom in as much because you're using that full screen size to scan the area or to show the area that you're scanning. You can see over here, it's just a ghost town, nothing. I'm scanning all the way to shore. So instead of fishing through this entire area and not getting a bite, I'm eliminating water and I'm, I'm saving time. Even though I'm not fishing, I'm finding where those fish will be or where they are at. 
So got a little bit of a school right here. You can see down here on 2D and down imaging. A little bit of school of fish. Again, the crappie have been in here thick. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a solid ball and I'm looking for arches on 2D sonar and lines on side imaging under or around the bait ball. That's gonna be your predatory game fish. That's gonna be your, your catfish, your white bass, your yellow bass, your large mouth, small mouth spots. Bait over here on bottom. Another bait ball. Let's go ahead and switch this. You can see the shadow behind it. That's gonna tell you how tall that bait ball is. So I could waypoint these, spin around and fish those. I don't see any fish on them. Look at this school right here. So these are all, these are all fish. This is bait, these are all bass. So that's the area that I'm gonna to wanna to fish. But you guys can see how just idling around, checking out your electronics, using the tools that you have to find the bait. When you can find the bait, you will find the bass. Right there, you got a school. So that's not a school of bait. That's gonna be either probably crappie. You see the smaller stuff right there? Zoom in for you guys. So this is gonna be your crappie, this is gonna be your bait. See how it's a lot smaller and this is more spread out, separation, separated. This is gonna be your bait, this is gonna be your crappie on it. So you crappie fishermen, that is key. Down here, you can see it on uh, down imaging, sonar. Got more of the fish out here on the side. But that is something where I can waypoint, hit waypoint, go up to the front of the boat, drop the trolling motor and fish my waypoint from the bow of the boat. I can effectively fish these crappie, you know, they could be bass, they could be whatever, in this scenario, the crappie, and I could effectively fish those fish that are feeding on that bait ball. You know, for those of you guys that don't have electronics or you don't have side imaging, another, probably the number one key for you guys to finding bait, well, do your research on Google Earth, Look for backs of pockets with uh, deep water nearby where those fish can sit in that deep water, move up and, and corral that bait. But birds, pay attention to your surroundings. Look for birds diving, look where birds are congregating. Those are your eyes in the sky. Those will tell you what's going on. When you see them diving, actively diving and feeding on bait, you know that that, that bait is close to service and that there's gonna be bass or fish eating that bait below them. So pay attention if you're in a kayak or you're shore fishing or what have you, if you can get to an area where you see birds actively diving and eating bait fish, that is money. Guys, hopefully that helped you out. Those key tips, number one, being safe on the water. If you can, get a Lake Master chip. I'm not sure if the Navionics chip allows you to do it or not. I run the Lake Master. Um, do that water level offset, especially when you can visibly see that the water is down. You know, a lot of times they'll have the hazards marked, but uh, setting your, you know, setting your, your units to read shallow water, uh, I, I set that five feet and below. I set that as red, as hazard. And then with the water level offset, I look at the contour line, look at the depth that I'm reading on my, on my, uh, 2D sonar, and then I subtract that to adjust my water level offset. Again, just to make it safer, make it easier, and uh, again, safer to run around and find these fish. Now, as far as the electronics, the side imaging, the down imaging, do a lot of research. You know, jump, jump on Google Earth, jump on you know some of these apps, these online apps, and do a lot of research at home. That way, when you're on the water, you can eliminate water really quickly using these tools. The side imaging, you know, get in the habit of using that split screen to search, and then once you really wanna dial in an area or a specific wall, switch that transducer to only show you the side that you wanna scan. That way you're utilizing the big screen. Look at all these fish right here. 
So these are what fish look like, these white lines. Again, I'm just drifting right now, but that is what fish look like on side imaging. couple fish right there on 2D sonar. But you can see using your electronics, you know, it, it, every angler is different, right? Some guys just want to get out, they launch the boat, they just want to start casting and fishing and, and more power to you. Again, every angler is different. I like to understand the area that I'm fishing. I want to find those spot on spot areas and um, yeah, you can find them fishing. You can find them fishing with a jig or a crankbait, but it's a lot easier when you're using these tools to find them, waypoint them, because then you can fish them more effectively. But again, just a couple tips for you guys. Winter time is all about finding those bait balls, finding those fish grouped up, and really loading the boat. You know, when you find a school of bait like that with arches all around it, get out your lipless, get out your blade bait, get out your A rig and really put it to them. As always, guys, we appreciate you. If you learned something in this video or you have questions, uh, please leave those down below in the comment section. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon.